Welcome, welcome, welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called, Thank You God for Grandpa. <laughs> so let's see what these gorillas get up to. Thank you God for Grandpas, for Pops and Papas too, for Granddad's Gramps and Grandpappies. They're great grand gifts from you. Oh, look at these little ones living on their Gramps. When my grandpa sees me, he lifts me off my feet and wraps me in a grandpa hug, so strong and soft and sweet. And he's got two little monkeys. <laughs> the wisest man I know, just ask him. He'll agree. He knows how to do everything and now he teaches me. So it looks like they're playing chess or checkers. <laughs> We walk down to the pond to catch a fish or two. He shows me how to skip a rock like his dad used to do. Look at them playing in the pond. That's so sweet. When he tells us stories, we grin and settle in. He talks about when he grew up, what life was like back then. Oh, and maybe they're gonna have a picnic lunch too. Let's see. Grandpa dust off his glove. I give that swing my all. But just where did my grandpa learn to throw that trick curveball? <laughs> now he's teaching them baseball. When it's time for treats, that's grandpa's specialty. Bananas, ice cream, chocolate chips, and three cherries for me. It's kind of like a banana split. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. He tells us about Jesus and shows us how to pray. He trusts God with all his heart to lead and guide the way. Oh, and look at just like what Jesus did, who was a carpenter with his, his earthly father, Joseph. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Thank you, God, for Grandpa. There's nothing I can do to make my Grandpa love me less. Grandpa, I love you, as he's snoozing and gives him a kiss. Isn't that the sweetest? I so hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you remember that you are dearly, dearly loved. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, you keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.